Hi, welcome on to another vlog. Today I'm talking about practice and I've got to admit, kind of switching the camera on has kind of made me fail a little bit. Half past one today in the afternoon. I was watching a great uh, Liebman masterclass, the one I showed you on the vlog about Roberto's wind, uh, Roberto's reads. And one of the things Lieb was talking about was like three hours of practice. And I was like, man, I cannot remember the last time I was able to do three hours of practice. But it got me thinking, I thought today I uh, had to go out and run some errands this morning. One of which was to get some new sunglasses, which I will show you soon. Uh, not today because they're in the car at the moment. Of course, it's raining outside, ideal English weather for sunglasses. Uh, but in all seriousness, uh, I went in, I was into town. Um, I was asking at the Apple shop because on my iMac behind me, I have got so many different things. As you can see here from this picture, it is just jammed full of USB um, inputs and the both Thunderbolt drives. I, I've just run out of, uh, of um, outputs, inputs, output, inputs. Anyway, they're all daisy chain all over the shop. Anyway, they're not kind of working the way they should. But basically, from what I understood at Apple Shop, there's no alternative to what I'm doing at the moment. Basically, I've got the best I can probably do at the moment. But what I wanted to talk about was these little pink bits of post-it notes that I've got along my practice planner, my, well, my practice clock off, as it were. Uh, and they're transcription ideas that I've, I set last year uh, of what I'd like to transcribe during this practice period. Now, I've already done one of them. That was the O Come Are You Faithful over Christmas of Chris Potter's version of it. And... I'm nearly done on this this will be transcription uh, project so the my main reason for pulling the camera up was to record this and I thought actually I could make it into a vlog because I want to highlight the importance of recording yourself I've spoken about transcribing before on this vlog and some other vlog episodes as well it really is important it's a really the only way to understand the nuances in playing and over on cambridgesaxophone.com I've got Oh, over 15 transcription projects that I've done with students now and I'll be doing a new one again soon so we've transcribed everything from the sax solo of Spooky to Take 5, Charlie Parker, Coltrane, Miles even loads of transcription projects if you head over there you can find them you can either sign up for the individual course or you can become a subscriber and watch all the courses if you wanted to but the reason I make students do this, the transcription the best thing I can describe it is um, when I used to live in Northern Ireland, if I lived in Belfast, if I wrote on a piece of paper, eight power showers an hour, somebody in Belfast, and forgive me if you're from Belfast, because my accent's okay, we're not great, will be something along the lines of eight power showers an hour. In that, it would sound completely different to the way I would say it, and it was written exactly the same. It's the same thing with music. You can have something on a page, but you cannot understand how Chris Potter would play that phrase, or Coltrane would play that phrase, or Michael Brecker would play that phrase, unless you've transcribed it, unless you have learned that solo by ear, got it under your fingers so you can repeat it. With Chris, what I do, I can hear it now. You know, I've heard enough of him, studied enough, I, I can't play it yet, but I've got to that stage now when I'm hearing him play, I understand to it on a, on a subliminal level what he's playing. And so by transcribing, I want to try and understand what he's doing. So this is off uh, his album Vertigo. And all I'm going to do, I've just got Logic queued up. So this is partly for the vlog, but it's also for me, really, to have a, re a record of me playing it. It probably is all going to go probably wrong now. I've put the red light on and recording it. But I want to hear it for myself, for posterity. And also so that in six months' time, and this is something else Dave Lieberman says in his masterclass, in six months' time I can come back and listen to it and hopefully play the transcription I'm doing in the summer and play this transcription today and hear some difference. And hopefully, another hopefully, um, I will hear a difference in my playing because of transcribing this Potter tune. Okay, so I'm going to cue everything up on Logic, get it ready, and then I'll play it for you. Now... I'm going to let Chris play through the speakers because I kind of want to hear. Now, I could set it so I'm on one side and he's on the other, but let's just get it down. Here we go. Thank you. 
It's kind of like 20 seconds. <laughs> It's just the timing them a bit out there. Oh. <laughs> So starting my next transcription project, I deal with it the way I deal with it for my students. I'm going to import it, probably slice it up a bit. I might not slice it up as much. Um, I know pretty much the start of what Joshua Redman's doing here, so I've got to be careful with Joshua Redman's stuff. If I let you guys hear it, they slap a copyright notice on my video, so you won't be able to hear most of it, but here we go. I have mentioned this before, but the software I use is Transcribe. Brilliant piece of software. All I've got to do is drag it in and here it is and I can slow it down keep the pitch or keep it there okay and I can visually see there where the saxophone's going to come in so I'm just going to blow along with that see what I get and then highlight up anything kind of solo I want to do but I probably won't be able to put this on because So there's a lovely line here that I want, I like, it's really subtle. of my work, whether it's teaching online students, doing vlogs, well, vlogs don't feel like work, but certainly highlighting issues like this, do not go onto Google. I found the transcription of this. Do you know why? 12 years ago, similar type of thing, I did that, found what somebody else has done the work, tried to copy it, tried to make it my own, didn't work, okay? and there's no substitute for really going through it. Now, there have been times when I've known this song better, um, but I'm just trying to pick out little bits and bobs. When you're transcribing something, you're aiming for a tiny, tiny little amount. Like Potter thing was kind of like 20 seconds, and that's taken me at least three weeks now, plus a lot of work a few years ago as well. And yet there's so much in there. And you probably, if you go back and listen, go back and listen to the one where I was talking about my Mark VI when I'm in the practice room at the music shop. That's what I'm playing, because it's, it's music, isn't it? It's kind of, it's great, it's really good, it's rich, it's, it's Chris Potter, do you know what I mean? It's vocabulary. It's kind of working through that, trying to um, get what's in my head out of the horn, but also trying to get the thing into the head. So trying to get it from, here we go, if we do it on this way, from the computer here to here to the sax. And then forget it, and then hopefully it'll come out with what I'm playing. Anyway, I gotta go. I've got to go and do the school run now. You ready? Yeah. He's now at the stage when he realizes that when his controller's on or off, whereas in the past, um, I could keep him entertained. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. Right. So I'm off to play football for the first time in, gosh, it must be about eight, seven, eight weeks. So it could be interesting tonight. But I need to get out, I need to play. I've been teaching tonight and 
as you saw the school run and everything else like that. Kind of the vlog kind of finished a little bit from there. But I've got the um, GoPro type camera, so I'm hoping I'll be able to get some of the football action for you. I've been talking about bringing my drone up a few times, but I just uh, it's just too it's too many things I need to set up and everything to bring the drone up. So, but maybe maybe in the summer or maybe in the spring when it brightens up. I'll bring the drone out, although it would be cool to get it when it's under floodlights, but we'll see what happens.